In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Pat Larry died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant, Pat Larry, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew, born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them, I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring them back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. At that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. The sign, these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate this funeral mass for Pat Larry, the church is celebrating the feast day of the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle, and thus the readings that we've heard today. The readings speak to us of baptism. First of all, that Jesus is the one who tells the apostles to go out and to baptize. We heard how Paul, was, after he'd been chosen by, by Jesus, uh, Ananias came to him and said, now get up and go be baptized and have your sins forgiven. And we began this ceremony by remembering Pat Larry's baptism as we sprinkled his remains with the water of baptism. That baptism which is received for the forgiveness of sin, but more importantly that it, sh it is received for our adoption as beloved children of God, sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father, and made co-heirs with Christ Jesus, heirs of the kingdom, heirs of that life that Jesus has gained for us by his passion, his death, and his resurrection. That's what the baptism that Pat Larry signifies, is joining with Christ Jesus in his death on the cross, Joining with Christ Jesus in his burial in his tomb. Joining with Christ Jesus in his resurrection. Being raised up to newness of life. We heard also in the first reading about this bright light that uh, flooded the eyes of Paul. And in a sense, it was so bright that it blinded him. It was in baptism that Pat Larry received the light of Christ. And that light is symbolized by the candle that is standing right by his remains. The Paschal candle that says the light of Christ, the darkness of death cannot extinguish it. The light of Christ which floods our life at our baptism dries away sin and the power of death and its darkness and floods us with light. It is this light to which Pat Larry has been invited now. What he saw only is a little glimmer with a, a sacramental, a candle that he received at his baptism and a candle which stands here before him now. But now he is in the presence of light from light, as we profess in the, faith, in the creed, Sunday after Sunday, true God from true God, true light from true light. We come, I'm sure, you as the members of the family, come with a sense of sorrow because there is sorrow and sadness with death. And... But for us as Christians, because of what we believe, we can come to this moment also with hope 
and with joy because we know that this is not the end of the journey. This is not the extinguishing of Pat's life. It is entering into the fullness of that life that was promised to him at baptism, which was sustained and nurtured by sacramental signs all throughout that journey, by prayer and by the scriptures, and by our worship and receiving Holy Communion and the sacraments that he received. These are just the signs that kind of, in a sense, like the image of oil in the lamp, it adds oil to keep the light burning, keep, it, keep that flame of faith of life. The fact that you're here today says that that flame of faith was kept alive. It, didn't, it wasn't extinguished. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing this. So many, well, do you want to? No, let's not have a funeral. It's too much bother. It, and it's COVID and all these things. And, um, or as we say in Spanish, ya pa que? Ya pa que? But we don't say that. Because <laughs> this is not the end. This is... This is just one transition as he made many transitions. Obviously, he made a big transition from New Mexico to Nevada. Why he would want to leave New Mexico is beyond me, you know, but, you know, I bet he had to come back every year to get green chili to take over there because I know you don't get our green chili in Nevada. But that was a transition for a long time. And now that transition's ended. That was not the end of his life when he went to Nevada. And the passing through death is not the end of his life either. It's just a transition. And the last day when Jesus raises us up in glory, we'll be joined together with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. And there, entering into the fullness of life and the fullness of light and the fullness of joy and the fullness of peace, there will be no more death, there will be no more crying, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying now for this former world will have passed away. These are the words of Scripture to encourage us. And so when Jesus tells, tells us in that the responsorial psalm, go out to all the world and tell the good news. That's the good news that you have to start proclaiming. Just like Paul did after his conversion. Jesus illuminated him, gave him vision of who Jesus was, allowed him to hear his voice. And from that point on, Paul was the witness of Christ Jesus in the whole world, even though he had to suffer much and endured much pain. So you as well, even though there is suffering and pain with death, you are witnesses to Christ Jesus and his resurrection. Go forth convinced of that calling that you have received. And be assured that Christ who is victorious over death also has power to bring our brother Pat to the fullness of life in the kingdom. Let us now stand and make our prayers. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ his Son from the dead. With confidence, we ask God to save all his people living and dead. 
for Pat Larry, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our brother Pat, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray also for the repose of the deceased, Federico Laredo, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Pat Larry, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Pat Larry, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us bow and offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let perpetual light shine upon him with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Please be seated. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother, Pat Larry, may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In baptism, Pat Larry was received by Christ into the church. And now, at the Mass of Farewell, we commend him to the Lord with our prayers, symbolized by this incense that rises up to God on his behalf. May the Lord welcome him into the company of the saints. Open the doors of paradise to him. Give him rest from his labors. And for you, the family, may the Lord also rain down his mercy and grace upon you so that you have swift consolation. Let us pray. We say our farewell. Please listen and repeat. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Pat Larry in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Pat Larry in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. 
Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll now have the communion rite. And uh, I'm going to give the... Uh, at the gathering space. So I'm going to give the communion to the people who came for the daily mass and have them go on their way. And then I'll come back for, for you guys. Okay. 